Mystics across nearly every belief system and tradition speak of this dark night as an essential rite of passage, an absolutely terrifying but necessary initiation into deeper realms of being. As Mirabai Star so resonantly expressed, the dark night is a journey through loneliness to solitude, from anguish to peace. In my darkest hours, these words glimmered like distant starlight, hinting at the transformative potential awaiting me. I had not the strength to resist, so with grim determination, choking back hyperventilated gasps for breath, genuine tears flowing and concerned stares from my cat, I forged ahead. For the dark night vehemently demands a profound paradigm shift, a complete shattering of all paradigms and assumptions that had comprised my worldview until that point. As Thomas Kuhn noted, this is a tradition-shattering revolution in consciousness itself. All my previous props and identities were stripped away until I stood utterly spiritually bare-assed naked before the mystery. As Ramdas put it, when all props are shaken, you are faced with the unending embodiment of who you are. Can I have my spiritual clothes back, please? No, stand up straight and shut it. This dismantling mirrored Carl Jung's concept of the night sea journey where the ego must dive into the depths of the unconscious to confront the shadows and complexities within. My very identity was called into question as I navigated these turbulent inner waters. Who are you? shouted a disembodied voice. <laughs> Screwed! I replied meekly with instant regret, yet it was in embracing the uncertainty, the sense of groundlessness, that I opened to the potential for rebirth. The dark night, I came to understand, was an initiation into a more expansive perception of reality, an invitation to shed the limiting constructs of my former worldview in order to welcome radical new paradigms. As Eckhart Tolle beautifully expressed, the darkest hour is the period of transition before the new awakening period commences. By surrendering my attachment to prior assumptions, I created space for insights and awakenings previously obscured from view. Slowly through disciplined trust in the process and having literally nothing left to lose, I began reforging my connection to beloved spirit, that intangible yet animating force pulsing through all existence. The Sufi concept of fana, the ego's annihilation to unite with source, began revealing its esoteric meaning to me. While the dark night stripped me of surface-level spiritual accoutrements, it allowed a more authentic and primal spirituality to take root. My relationship to the Source evolved from distant worship to an intimate participatory dance. I emerged more attuned to the sacred currents of consciousness and creativity perpetually flowing from the primordial wellspring. I got my clothes back too, they seem to fit better, that's weird. End of part two.